I would never lie to you. I'd never say that Notion is the all-encompassing application that could never be competed against. That's why I'm going to bring you the top three Notion alternatives in 2023. That feels weird to say Happy New Year, sort of. This is, is it too late? It's been over a week. Number one, and this is in no particular order, AnyType.io. This is a fully functional and native application that is still in alpha, but has been really cool to look at. Uh, as you can see, there's no storage limits, no upload limits. You have an encrypted key and everything is local and works without Wi-Fi. This complete level of privacy is awesome and something that people definitely don't like about Notion. Like you can't go with a Notion and not have a web connection pretty much. It just doesn't work as functionally. And in any type, it really is a quick application and has a lot of the same sort of look and feel to what Notion is while also having a bunch of different templates that are much more fleshed out and built into the actual system itself. The properties that exist within databases are very similar. Uh, they actually have like a bunch of different options that they show you that are just like examples. And then if you do create from scratch, you can see the relation types are all right here and are pretty similar to what you see in Notion. Now, funny enough, relations are properties in any type, kind of intriguing. And something that's really cool is that there's like a graph view that exists that showcases everything that's connected in your workspace. Very similar to what you have in Obsidian, which is really cool. And I would definitely check this out before maybe it becomes a paid option as it is still in the early stages of early access. Now, Coda.io is another really great option. Uh, it, it's one of those applications where the pricing isn't excessive. If for the pro plan, it's a little more than a lot of people would like, but sorry, it's $10 a month, but unlike Notion, it actually has a bunch of integrations that are pretty good, along with having a lot of the similar page layout that exists. So in here, if we go to this tasks page, you'll see that it does a lot of the same situation of like having the filtering look similar, having the sorting similar, and having multiple columns that you can you know hide and whatnot within here, and then quickly making columns to have different page layouts. It also does have the option of creating views within these, similar to what you can do with linked databases inside of Notion, which is really cool, and has that same functionality of like, all right, let's paste this and display as a URL or a card of that database link. So say I were to go to another page over here and make a new page, paste this link, I could have a view pop me right back into there. And as I mentioned, I do slash Google Calendar, there's actually a pack if I'm on the pro plan that connects me directly to Google Calendar, which is just something Notion still doesn't have. And I would very much like to have. There are buttons in here that are really cool. Another column I could add is obviously a button. And with buttons, you might be saying like, what's the point of those? Well, the point of those is the fact that you can add different equations to the buttons, which then allow you to do very cool things. As you can see here, you can have actions happen when I do it. So I could like duplicate rows or something like that, or do this row or tasks or view of tasks. Like I can assign the button to do different things. And these are just the things that don't exist within Notion that are nice levels of automation that exists in other softwares. Now, ClickUp is your next option. It is a little bit all over the place and may have a lot going on, but the pricing on it is really good. It's good for teams. Uh, it's got five bucks a month for unlimited, which is a really good option. The free plan itself is not that bad. And I know that it is one of the most popular and fast growing apps right now. One thing to note about ClickUp is the fact that it has so many things that oftentimes there will be minor bugs. And while you might be thinking, yeah, let's stay away from that app, I don't wanna hate on it because most of the things work. However, there are just certain circumstances where you'll find like, all right, why is this automation not working? The functions of the application itself when you're like manually doing things will work, but all of the stuff regarding the automation can cause things to break minorly at times. Then in situations like this, you'll see that there are really nice Google Calendar integrations where you can move this to a different time, which is just so appreciated. And once again, something that you can't do within Notion. You can quickly add things as well within here that are gonna be tasks. You can have a built-in My Tasks and Homepage that is just not in Notion right now. You obviously can build that very easily within Notion and we have that set up in the Notion app system. However, it being built in is pretty insanely nice. They do have docs within here that work 
relatively similar to Notion, but imagine this application more as a project management tool that then you can put docs in that are similar to Notion. As you can see, they have covers, they can have comments, they can have icons, all the stuff that Notion can have in this regard. It has markdown functionality that are very similar to what's within Notion. However, what you are gonna notice is that they're in their own segment here, and then in spaces, we kind of have these different board views and list views and whatnot. Just pressing here, all the different views that are gonna exist are gonna be what you see here. Some of them are going to only be available on the pro plan, like the form view or the box view. However, it is imperative that you know that this probably has the most options for what you can look at. And while you can't have like linked views and have multiple views in one place, it does kind of make you hone in on one view in each page. And that has its benefits as well as much as Notion is awesome and it has the ability to like, all right, let's have this page have multiple different views within it. There is nothing wrong with this thing having one thing that you're honing in on. That's a little bit different than what Coda and Notion are doing. All three of these apps have made consistent improvements in the last year. And I definitely think that they are going to be main competitors of Notion moving forward. I also think a main competitor against this video is like you watching this video right here. That was awful. That segue was bad.